the septum pallicitum that separates the front of the two lateral ventricles. If we look at the septum pallicitum from a frontal cut, you will always see the two lateral ventricles. And the same with the horizontal cut. Forming the lateral wall of the lateral ventricles is the head of the caudate nucleus. The caudate nucleus, the body of the caudate nucleus, and the tail of the caudate nucleus. Once we find the front of the lateral ventricles, we can locate the alternating sequence of gray matter and white matter. The caudate nucleus, the internal capsule, the lentiform nucleus, the external capsule, the claustrum, the extreme capsule, and the insula. In the frontal cut, we find the same sequence with the septum pallicitum, the lateral ventricles, the head of the caudate nucleus, the internal capsule, the lentiform nucleus with the putamen above and the pallidum below, the external capsule, the claustrum, the extreme capsule, and the insula. Next, we leave the brain to enter into the sylvan fissure, and we arrive in the temporal lobe. We find the same sequence in a horizontal cut with the septum pallicitum, the lateral ventricles, the caudate nucleus, the internal capsule, the lentiform nucleus, the external capsule, the claustrum, the extreme capsule, and the insular lobe. 